Chinese smartphone maker Xiaomi pricing its IPO overnight, coming up way short on its initial valuation of where it used to be valued. Uh, Josh Lipton's in San Francisco with the latest. Josh. John, Xiaomi was one of the most talked about IPOs of the year, but the company just priced its IPO at the bottom end of the range, 17 Hong Kong dollars or $2.17 per share. But it appears that they did get more interest at that lower price, upping the deal size by about 15 percent, now raising closer to $5.4 billion. And that would appear to imply a valuation of as much as $62 billion. Still, that is well below the $100 billion that in Insiders has suggested earlier this year. Now, Xiaomi could be a victim of broader market trends as trade tensions escalate between Washington and Beijing. Large cap Chinese stocks are down more than 20% since their peak in late January. Xiaomi also called itself an internet company, but remember, internet services as a share of revenue remain under 10%. It's smartphones that account for 70% of sales. Still, let's be clear this is a big valuation, and fans like Hans Tung of GGV Capital, a Xiaomi investor and former board member says its strategy is the right one, selling quality phones at relatively low prices and then using those handsets as a gateways to higher margin services like video streaming. It's now the fourth largest smartphone vendor in the world, according to IDC. And some folks here in San Francisco say they'd be interested in a Xiaomi phone. I'm usually someone who's on a budget, so I'd definitely be interested in okay. something, something like that. I would consider switching to a Chinese phone. I don't... Uh... I've read a little bit about it. I don't possess any particular concerns about um, hacking or safety. I feel very, you know, loyal. It, uh, it's, uh, something significant would have to happen for me to make a switch. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.